Let's try something new this week. If I put you over here. to do today I don't know what to do ever um, have any ideas for today's painting please share them with me yeah I actually I'm late today uh, I was just getting lunch ready and then I realized that I wouldn't have time to eat it. <laughs> um, so it's just going to sit there and look at me while we do this. Um, oh, you know what I forgot to do also? Man, I left the questions. Ugh. All right. Any ideas for today? I don't know. Do I feel like making some flowers I don't know I feel like flowers are always the go-to I don't know I don't know I don't know um, Who are you talking to? um I'm on live Bubby so my little one is uh came home yesterday with a fever and by school whatever she has to stay home the extra day so if you hear a little tiny voice that's who it is Okay, let's do something here. I have an idea. Let's do... How is everybody today? Da -da -da. I did not... I should break out the other watercolors, too. Those were a big hit last week. Anybody here last week or catch it on YouTube? Um... Do -do -do. I'm just gonna lay down some some colors. Um. Oh, hi, Jess. I wish I was painting instead of working. Oh, I'm sorry. really sure what we're doing here right now we're I'm literally just laying down some color maybe I could go in and like draw on top of it or maybe I just made a mess who knows you know what it's I sometimes I get into like um like very floral or I get very uh landscapey and then I feel stuck and then I feel like I don't want to do that anymore <sighs> but then I can't see out of that tunnel it's hard oh that was not the right color to put in there but now it's in there <laughs> mm -hmm. The sun is out. I'm excited. We hadn't seen it, like, in a while. It just brightens up my mood. Even if I don't really feel, like, super chipper. Because, you know, life. Um, it's still nice to, to see it.
It is beautiful today. Uh, but it's going to be so cold this weekend. I can deal with cold because I can hide. And I can bundle up. I, I feel as... Okay. I don't like ice, which is rough. But I do like cold because I can layer. There is, in my head, there is a way around being cold. As opposed to, like, in the summer where it's super hot. Like, there's only so many showers I can take in a day. Or, like, just lay in a bath of cold water. <laughs> which is like my go-to. Um, plus, I don't have to go anywhere this weekend, so that's going to be great. I'll just stay under covers. Boo, raining in the Mid-South. I need my... Sa See, it's been raining here a lot, and I was kind of over it. But I guess that's a good sign, right? That means, like, spring. Spring shower. We're just going to do this thing. I feel like... Ooh, ooh, fun! Ah, see, sometimes you just need fun. Um, hi, Lindsay. Uh, do I spy Anna's favorite berry? Yes, Anna's favorite berry is right there. Uh, I have no plans to go out. Yes, we're going to stay in all weekend and paint. <laughs> the layers activate my claustrophobia. Oh, yeah, see, my husband laughs because he's just like, you know, um, I mean, we have a pretty small apartment, but he's like, how do we pay so much for electricity? And I'm like, dude, because I want to walk around in a tank top in the middle of the winter. Um, but I'm just saying, if I had to, I, I can deal with layers. I don't do them well. Like, you know, I'm not about to win any fashion award, but... I do prefer to layer. Let's move this stuff around. I don't know if I want to do all the corners or if I just want to kind of stay right here in the middle. I don't know. This is like my go-to. I'm going to move you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm warning you. This is what my like go-to right here. This, this purple, blue, pink combo. This is like my absolute favorite. When they come together, see? When they come together, I don't know. I just feel all kinds of fuzzy. Um, and it's funny because like none of those three colors on their own do it for me. But when they combine like that, oh, I just love it. Um, so yeah, so basically this is what it's looking for. In case you guys don't know, this is 52 GSM um, Tomoe River paper. It's a bound journal. It's an A5. Um, I'm so over the rain and the overcast days. I need more blue skies. Yes. I think they're coming, though. They're coming. They called and said they're coming. <laughs> All right. You know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring the other colors. Did I say it? I feel like I said that already. All right. So we're going to break out. These caused quite the stir last week. And I am prepared this week because, look, I made the, um, oh, my God, I forgot the word again. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Uh, I have all the names written down. The swatches, the swatches. I've got the swatches. Oh, did I move you? Okay. Um, I got to pick up the phone. Yeah, I need to warn you because, you know, quick movements. Ah, it's so great because now I know exactly, like, uh, which colors are which. Because some of these are new from, like, the James Davenport when I switched to Mongu. So some of these are new to me, so I'm still getting used to them. Plus, they're in a different configuration than I had them before. And also, I know, aren't they? I'm a lucky girl. I really, I don't say that, like showing off like I really really am lucky that I'm able to have these especially because these are all handmade and I won these from an um an Instagram giveaway and it's they're like a dream like I just I can't get over it I love them um it's so hard to tell from the yeah no and it's from these these are uh okay but well, most of them, like the greens, some greens are just like, what? 
Um, but for these, it's really, really hard because some of them change color drastically from here to there. Like, see, that one is like almost like it's like a dark, dark blue over there with glitter. And then over here, it looks purple with like blue. So, um, yeah, these absolutely needed to be swatched. And then it was a happy I found out that I actually had like repeats. So. That was a happy surprise. Wow, you won them? Yes, I did. I won them sometime like in December. And uh, yeah, I was on a bit of a, a winning spree. Oops. A winning spree because I also won. I won this palette from one account. And then I won um, this cover from Grace Salt and Ink, I want to say it's called. Hi, Stephanie. Greens and blue are super hard. They are. So, um, but I mean, I don't know. I wish that I could do more. Like, I wish that I could do, like, watercolor calligraphy, you know? But I'm just getting a handle on it with, like, pens. So I'm definitely not there yet with, with, um, with watercolor. Although, maybe I should just stop talking about it and just try it. You know? I know you guys know. You guys are all over there cheering me on. I'm sure. Super cool. Great holiday present for you. Yeah, it really was. It was. Um, okay. So, we'll add some there. Okay. So actually, I did get a little watercolor in, um, was it yesterday? Well, yesterday. Um, while well, this dries, because I don't like to turn on my, my heat tool when I'm talking. Because it's loud and obnoxious, and we would not be friends if uh, you did that to me. <laughs> I put some color down in my hobo. Uh, this is the first... Ugh. This is not working. This is the first time that I put watercolor in this year's hobo. So there it is. Oh, this looks a lot like this, actually. Look at that. I have a style. Yes, I do. Because um, other than that, it's all like stickers. This is my Chicago planning. You guys are getting a little sneaky, peaky. Um, and that's this week. So yeah. So it's been all like sticker kits only because i somehow managed to get a lot of kits i don't buy them but i managed to get a whole bunch of them last year in swag and stuff and i feel bad you know not using them and i mean you just saw a lot of my watercolor tends to look like each other which i'm fine with but i guess for the gram we need to keep it do some gold in here. Uh, okay, let's put some gold here. So yeah, so I did that, and I also did, um, I'm thinking about getting into, like, studying a little bit more about the moon. Um, anybody here, like, a lunatic? So, um, this was not an intended topic of conversation, but uh i'm a certified crystal vibrational crystal healer which means i have a lot of crystals and i do like different kinds of massage it's not massage because it's not touching you it's um i let them vibrate with your body and so um when i was doing that i got into the idea that maybe i could join reiki with it which is another non-physical form of like they couple it with massaging but it's but mas when you think massage like somebody's touching you um anyways so i became um a reiki healer but when i did that it opened up something in my like my head where i now experience like um headaches from 
the moon's energy, <laughs> I want to say. And so the joke is that I became a lunatic, but in like the better sense of, you know, that. Uh, so I do want to start like paying more attention to the moon. Sometimes I don't realize that it's a full moon until I start feeling a certain way. And then I'm just like, oh man, I should have prepped better. Maybe if I knew it was coming, like I wouldn't kind of get bombarded by the energy that way. I don't know. Anybody else have any fun stories like that? Oh, here we go. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the brush is like over here because I have to lean down to read. Uh, where is it? Oh, okay. Yes, try it. You'll get there. Yeah, try it. Um, yeah. Oh, th we're talking about the watercolor writing. Okay. Wow, it looks gorgeous like a butterfly. Yes. Uh, love the vibrancy. Definitely. Chicago planning. Are you and Shay? going to get together uh table made gifts uh no i actually don't know where she's sitting um we you don't get to pick tables like that it's kind of like you you pick like your top 10 tables and then they assign you a table so we'll have to find each other what are you most excited for and who i'm i don't know if i'm excited to meet anybody because i am the way i am um i'm excited to see friends and I'm definitely excited to to see what I mean. I've heard a lot about this conference. You know, when Shay and I became friends, like she wouldn't stop talking about her experience um, there. So, so that'll be fun uh, to finally get to go since I've been to so many. Um, what? And then, um, yeah, just seeing just seeing a lot of friends. Hi, Cass. Hi, friend. I almost said Reiki. <laughs> oh, hi, Danny. Um, yeah. So, but I am excited. I'm very, very excited. Um, I'm nervous because I always get nervous before having to fly out, leaving the girls and, you know. Uh, all that stuff, it's nerve-wracking. But, um, you know, they say the more you do it, I don't know, we'll see. I'll be fine once it's, once, ugh, I added too much blue. Don't love it now. All right, maybe, you know what I need to do? I just need to leave it alone. Should we mop some of this up? I feel bad because I'll do something and you guys have like zero control over what I do or how I like it. And then I get this a lot with take five. People are like, no, you shouldn't have taken that off. Or why did you cover that up? That was my favorite part. And I'm like, oh. Nothing fancy here. This is like one of those um, kitchen towelettes. And I keep it for my watercolor. And this one is actually a little one that I stole from when my grandparents were leaving. Um, here they are leaving for, like, South America. And I'm stealing, like, her little towel because it smelled like grandma. It doesn't smell like her anymore, but reminds me of her every day. So I love it. Let's see. Let's put this here. And I'll show you guys what um, I did a little bit yesterday. So I hand lettered. Here's the thing about my hand lettering. I am really, really proud that I've gotten this far. My, my letters look good. My control feels good. But look at this nonsense. It's like going like they're all slanted and wonky. And I just obviously it's because this paper doesn't have lines. But it's just like why can't I just look. This is me doing script quickly i'm just writing some notes down about the moon and look how perfect you see and this is just like i don't know what that's all about oh uh, let's see uh, i cannot wait to hear the debrief after yes i know that'll be fun i'm sad i won't be i know Cass. i am too so i'll have a great time i will but it'll be sad just think of all the swag you're gonna get <laughs> Yeah, this swag will be fun. Although I guess I have to be careful because I 
I am taking limited amount of luggage. Um, so this is a moon. This was in... Oh my god, I'm forgetting. Spirit Daughters account, I think. This is like uh, the f- Leo's full moon or something. So yeah, so this was in somebody else's account. I just go around copying people's stuff and making it in my journal. Um, so yeah, so th- those are the feathers from last week. And this journal really has like zero rhyme or reason. Let me just tell you. There's like, I do what I want. So this is me just writing down some numbers. This is probably what it's going to end up looking like today. I'm just going to add some numbers with my stencil and keep it moving. But I'm really happy. Like, I really like looking in here. And splatter. Loving the amount of splatter. For some reason, I had only um, splattered in my take fives and I was like wait what am I doing I saw this on Pinterest and I was like I must do this and there will be a lot of this going on in future dates um just in case you guys haven't seen it if you've seen it before I'm sorry uh I need to put a picture here I have yet to print it out though this is um my vision board and every time you see this it looks different because I keep going in and adding more like tiny little stickers everywhere and things. I'm like, oh, I forgot that. Um, are these pages for a weekly? Yeah, no, they're not. Not at all. All of my planning is literally done in my in my weeks. This this other one, if we were being realistic, then this is un- this is an unnecessary journal. Um, it's literally just a, an art journal. That's what it's become. All of my planning is now in here. I don't know if you guys really want to see this. Like, it's all happening in here. I've got notes and, uh, yeah, just lots of stickers and lots of plans and, like, all the things are happening here. Oh, thank you for all the hearts. I keep seeing all these little hearts, like, shooting up. Um, yeah. I'm trying to use washi and I'm, you know, all of that stuff. But this, I don't like showing this because see all these like plans? Some of the plans get done and some of them don't. I also write out like sticker ideas that are coming up or things that I need to release or, you know, collabs if I have any. And I mean, flight numbers. Not that anybody's going to come and meet me at my flight or something. Um, but here's a sneak peek at, uh, two weeks from now. And then I used my panda. I put this down the other day that I released it. My panda kit. And, um, watercolor. I just got this one recently. I think this kit is called, like, Fifty Shades of Grey or something. Or Fifty Shades of Lace. I think that's what it is, Fifty Shades of Lace. It made me feel naughty. <laughs> I liked it anyways. This particular kit, I think I've had for over a year and a half. No joke. I was so happy to put it down. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it in terms of that. I I went all out and I got these things. And I think I got and I got the the yearly one too. Um, yeah, so I laid down all this nonsense. Like I feel so extra. So extra. But in like a very girly kind of way. So what do we have back here? Just some like notes. Oops, I don't think I was supposed to show you that. This was before the vision board. This was like the the homework for the vision board. Uh, these were all of the sticker things that I needed to do. This is me writing about some healthy ideas. Ooh, there's money there. Fun. Yeah, so... I mean, we're working this journal for real. Um, unlike last year. Last year, I wasn't sure what to do with... Oh, there's more money over there. Jeez Louise. Um, I wasn't sure what to do with... I'll keep flipping, even though this is in a video somewhere. Uh, love her. I love them all. Look at this little guy. Uh. All right, so... Let's flip back and see what this is doing here. 
All right. I love this wrinkle look. What should we do on here? Or maybe let's let's wait for this to dry out a little bit more and put some color here. Um, so yeah, so these pages in this journal have turned out to be just for fun, for quotes, for notes, and whatever other nonsense kind of pop in my head. Um, and I'm cool with that. I'm really, really, really down with that right now. It's nice, you know, some people have sketchbooks. Not some people, most people have sketchbooks. And I've never, I've never been one to sketch. Like if I doodle something, I wanted to have a place, I guess. I don't know. Even when I draw Annie, like, I do it once, and then I want it to be done. And it's just like, I don't like sketching. Maybe that's my issue. Like, I want it to feel like a finished piece. Uh, I'm well aware that that sounds very, very lazy. Let's put some pink in that orange, swirl it around. I think I'm going to get into that orange and pink. Um, try to give this, uh, try to give a different like palette for, for spring. Because I'm really heavy handed with that purple, blue, and, and pink. See, now today, this is all I want to do is. Uh, don't love that one as much. All right. Let's fix this one. Oh, um, I'm not great in sketchbooks. Yeah, no, I feel the same. I want it to be its own thing. Yeah, I want it to be its own thing, but because I need to be complicated, because I have this cute little business, um, I also want it to be something that if I choose to photocopy, um, that I can, uh, which then meant that I went through that whole struggle of finding a journal where I would be happy with the paper and um, that could handle the watercolor, but, um, but that wouldn't have lines or lines or graph or even the dots. And I know a lot of people, you know, some of my patrons are like, it's fine, it's fine if you share it, you know, I'll still, you know, download it, I'll still use it, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, you might be fine with it, but I'm not fine with it. And this is not how I want to do my art. So that's how we um, ended up in so many journals. Well, so many, no, two journals. But for me, that's one journal too many. And also, just I was annoyed with myself for being so indecisive about what I wanted. And then uh, when I finally did, I struggled to find the right journal. And even now, here I am. And I love this journal. Don't get me wrong. We will finish the year out in this journal, I promise, with whatever it is that I'm doing in here. But I um, found out that there is another bound journal, A5, that has the 68 Tomoe River. Not by the same company, somebody else. But next year, I may actually achieve that journal piece. The sad part is, is that this journal no longer has a place for my planning. Because um, I have become very used to and accustomed to the, the hobo. 
you know. But I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I don't buy it, and then I have to go back into drawing it myself because I do miss it. What is wrong with you know my head? Hello. Oh, breathe the beat. Remind me of your name. I'm. I'm great with like the pictures and people's um. What do you call it? People's screen names, but then I don't know the person's name. Um, so yeah. Why must we be so complicated? I don't know. Oh, I like this. Look. Okay, I'm going to give you a bird's eye view. Ready? Here we move. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. I like it. It's doing some stuff here. I love that pink with the orange. Not a big fan of yellow, but this is working for me. And then I've got some like purpley undertones going on. I like it. I like it a lot. Hi, Melanie. Oh, I love that. I would have never known that. Right? We like this. See? Here we go. I hope you guys are. Oh, yes. It does look like a sunset. Well, see, the thing is, I'm carrying over that yellow, which I don't use a whole lot, but I did this moon on the other side, and I just wanted it to color kind of like, <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but I guess because these are the notes from that moon. So I kind of wanted to carry that color scheme over. Um, it is so bright. On a sunny day. Um, Jess, what do you color with? Do you color with uh, watercolor or gouache or acrylic? Number one, first question. And number two, what uh, brand? Because I want to, I'm nosy and I want to know all the things. I love this. Okay, guys, we, we did good here. We did good. Let's check time. Oh, oh, that's right. I started Uber late. So you guys, we have plenty of time. And I'm sorry, but can I show you since we're all friends here? No joke. My my salad is awaiting. And it's like the most massive. Like, look at my hand compared to this bowl. Like, it's ginormous. But this is like a whole, whole head of, um, oh, what is that lettuce called? The long kind. <laughs> like the worst person ever. Oh my god. Um, I know the name. I know the name. No, I don't. Romaine. It's a whole head of romaine. And I chop it up and I add like a whole hand bunch of spinach. And then um, some balsamic dressing. A little bit of salt. I've got some some olives in there. And I forgot the... I just realized that I forgot my uh, sunflower seeds. But I'll add those also. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh, you're a Daniel Smith girl. I'm going back up. Um, I use watercolor. Daniel Smith. Yum. Also have some handmade ones from a shop on Etsy called River... V <gasps> I'm going to have to check them out. I want all that salad. I'm a weirdo and loves it. I do too. And you know what's really funny is my eight-year-old has just started eating sa um, salads. And I'm just like, you're a terrible vegan. How do you not like salad? And it's not even like a vegan thing. It's just like salad is amazing. So I'm going to show you guys. This is my Daniel Smith collection. Um, I got these from Michaels because they recently started um, selling these. I am too chicken poop to use these often enough. And what I need to do really is I need to get them in little pans so that I can do put them in here. But um, yeah, and I use these sometimes like I just get these little bumpies wet and use them. But like I went all out in here. Each one of these sets were like $60, though. And I'm poor. Look, here's what they look like in case you go to Michael's and you're trying to look for them. Um, they come like six, six in each thing, I want to say. Yeah, with the white. I think the, my kids took the white. Ooh, ooh, Daniel Smith. Uh, Primatic ones are so fun. Moon Glow. I just got a Moon Glow, but I got it handmade 
from, I can't tell you because I would have to, like, leave Instagram. But, um, I do realize that I do need to use a lot more of my Daniel Smith. But you know what the other part, part is, too? I work in a journal. Like, I'm not really making artwork to sell, so to speak. So, um, I just feel bad, like quote-unquote wasting it I also have a lot of Windsor and Newton I have a lot of those my sister and my brother-in-law gave me like the huge pack um ooh, my Pokemon wants me to play um yeah they're hefty I started my collection swapping half pans then grew from there oh that would be fun yeah Courtney's not here today but Courtney uh one good girl she is my watercolor guru she kind of tells me which handmade uh watercolors are tried and true so i'm just mopping up a little bit of this since i am not going to be using my heat tool and i would like to go and look at that other page i hate putting you guys through the noise of that um, yeah, I have to be careful with handmade because I need the quality to, yeah, see, I don't know anything about that. And so that's why I have a guide and I, I have to go, uh, oh, bye, Lindsay. Um, I'll tell her she's, I can hear her. I don't know where she is though. She's probably in her plant. Mm. I love that you say give my love to Gigi. <laughs> oh my god. That silly bird has her own fan club. I can't. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do that. I want to map it up, but I don't. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, not so bad. Okay. I do like this color. These colors. It's working for me. Let's give it a quick... Okay, that's pretty dry, but let's see what this one did. Well, this is, like, super wet. This one's not so much. We can do something here. What can we do on this side? I want to draw something. I really do. Um, I just don't know what. Um, it's making me think of light fastness is hard and each company has their own rating system. Yes. I mean, I've learned so much in the last couple of months about like, because I was like, oh, well, then maybe I could make my own watercolors. But then I was just like, whoa, that's a process. And then the fact that they have to fill the pans like layer by layer and let them dry in order to like, you know, fit the max capacity. Like there was a lot to learn. Um, that you, I mean, you just have no idea when you're buying something like this. But um, I mean, just look how full these are. These are amazing. Love that. Love it, love it. Um, I have a couple on the way. Just don't tell my husband. Although now my collection is to the point where I really cannot hide it anymore. Like, and I won't... Here, this is my... I'm going to turn you guys around. This is my watercolor situation. See, these are both... This is full of the ones that I haven't opened yet. Because I have this big one from Windsor and Newton. Um, I just don't know why I need to go so big. Always. Well, this was a gift. Okay, hold on, I need my other finger. Okay. There we go. Mm. Yeah. These are annoying, though, because they come with these little, little baskets, I guess. I don't know what to call these. And then they don't come with enough. So now I have this whole thing here, and I can't put anything in there. This is, I don't know. 
weird. It takes days. And that's just how the drying, like you said. And you have a ton to protect yourself from the harmful powder. Yeah, no, and just doing the, whatever this technique is called, where they have to, like, break it down, that's a lot. Like, I just, no. I don't, I don't have the patience for that process at all. Let me sit here and weed vinyl and mess with the cricket and I just can't. I'll just buy I'll just buy the watercolors. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, this is a very interesting view. Okay. So let's let's draw something. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Any requests? What can we draw? I just don't know. I didn't come prepared. I thought I was gonna have my my questions and my idea thing and then I didn't write it out. And I'd love to say it was because, 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 but it wasn't, it's all me. Let's do... Too much of the it's toxic i look into it too see yeah i think that's what we all do we fall in love with the with the, with the watercolors and then you think oh i could do that <laughs> oh goodness i just don't have the room even if i wanted to like where am i going to have all that stuff drying i, I really don't know And I would, I would be dipping into my own stash, let's be real. And then I'd be like, oh, remember that color I made? Yeah, but I don't want to make it again. We're going to draw a half-dead flower here. I'm thinking, oh, did I? Is that what the other one is? What does the other one over here look like? No, this one's alive. Okay, this one will be half dead then. Because it's so bright, I need to contrast that with a... Right, guys, I am making this shape up in my head. So if it does not look like a leaf... Oh... My, has, my stomach is going like, you made that salad, right? Where is it? Okay. Let's do that. Um, let's bring in some... Uh, does anybody have questions? So, I've said this before, but I prefer round brushes. And my favorite, my go-to is the 12. I don't know why I prefer like the big one, but um, yeah, I dyed my own yarn, so I was annoyed. <gasps> really? That's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, people would be like, don't you sell it? No, my precious. It's my precious. Um, This one or this one? Let's go for this one. I'm sorry guys I have to be quiet because it's just my process also this is why I voice over in on YouTube <laughs> okay I'll, I'll move you guys so you can see in a second and the, oh we need some green in here let's do that before I move you um, this one or 
ignore this one. Let's go with this one. Oh, now I can't remember. Okay, we'll pretend that's... Alright, let's move you. Okay. So, I've drawn it in, haphazardly, and brought out some... Okay, we are switching, though. Now we're switching to number eight. Still round, still technically too big, supposedly. We're going to go in with some purple highlight... Um, just shadows. Let's see if we can see these petals a little bit better oh, too much I need to get back into making um, ASMR videos, like art videos. I loved when I did that. I think my first couple of watercolor videos were ASMR. Just you, me, and this brush. Hi! Uh, I need a bit of a darker br uh, green. That wasn't exactly it. Anybody here that does not watercolor? I think that you guys, if you're feeling a certain kind of way about watercolor, I understand. Um, let's not forget that I've only been watercoloring for about a year. And uh, the love is deep now. This, this love affair. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Don't miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.